So there's this time I was stranded on a deserted island. I was this close to starving to death, and I look towards me out in the ocean, and I see this bottle floating towards me. I opened it up. There's no note in there, no food, nothing. I was very disappointed, and then I sprayed it. That disappointment slowly started to fade away. So what did I think? What were my thoughts? Did this save my life? Well, I'm here today to give this review, aren't I? I'm sure you're aware of this, but a bad fragrance cannot be made up by a good bottle. A good fragrance does not need a good bottle. So what's the case with John Vervado's Artisan Pure? Let's discuss the smell. In the top notes, we're getting clementine, mandarin orange, lemon, bergamot, thyme, and marjoram, which adds to the herbal aspect of this fragrance. If I was to say what you're getting most of there, a little bit of a hint of the thyme. Some people say they're getting a lot of the mandarin orange and the oranges off the front, but I'm getting a little bit more of the lemony, which is being re reinforced by the bergamot, which really reminds me of a nice vacation. As it dries down, we get into the mid and the base notes. In the mid notes, it's just petty grain and ginger. I don't smell much of the ginger, but it does kind of accentuate the thyme a little bit. But what you are getting a little bit more of is the base notes when it dries down. The woodiness, the musk, the orris root, and the amber. Definitely some of the cedary, woodsy notes. You're getting a hint of musk, not too much, and that's about it. Some people think that it's gonna smell like when you walk into a bathroom and the bathroom has just been cleaned, and as it dries down, it kind of to me smells a little bit more of like a shaving gel kind of smell. It does smell a little bit synthetic and because of the note profile, I would say that it is masculine, but it also can lean a bit unisex. It's a fresh, it's a clean scent. If you're not a fan of very citrusy overload kind of fragrances, this is definitely not for you. I've had a lot of John Vervado fragrances in the past and this is what I can say about them. The majority of them have a very, very good opening. It doesn't always have good longevity with John Vervado's fragrances, unfortunately. I think it's their only downfall. But let's talk about the longevity now that we're on the subject. Since this is eau de toilette, it seems to evaporate a little bit faster. I was able to get on average around four to six hours with it. If I was out in very high heat, however, maybe slightly less. And I'm saying that because it is an eau de toilette. It has a higher concentration of alcohols. It has a higher chance of evaporating faster than something that's a heavier fragrance. That's in the higher range of how long John Vervado's fragrances have lasted me in the past. So props to John Vervado's for making a lasting fragrance this time. And for projection and sillage, this is not a beast. It doesn't project far, and the sillage is just enough for you to be noticed, but not overwhelm people. The projection in general, I would say, is one to two feet. I think that's what was intended with this fragrance, but the sillage is very nice. A lot of people like their fragrances to project. What that does psychologically to someone, if it projects too far, they don't really have a need to get close to you. If you have a scent that is more of a skin scent, like kind of like something like this, they walk by you, they smell it, and they immediately want to get closer to you, subconsciously. So you don't always want your fragrances to be a high projector, but you want it to be something that catches the attention, and this does exactly that. It may not be the best compliment getting fragrance ever. I think that what it's intended to do, it does it quite well. This is definitely not the cheapest fragrance. I was able to get it for a good price, but not everyone can, so just make sure if you're gonna get something like this, make sure you go on a discounter. So should you buy this fragrance? I think that if you're starting out as a collector, I wouldn't recommend you start with something like this. There's definitely better options, and there's cheaper options that kind of do things like this a little bit better. If I had to give it a scale out of one to 10, I'm gonna give it a 7.5 out of 10. And this is my reasoning behind it. Projection, I wanted a little bit higher. I would like this to be cheaper. Should you buy this? If you find it at an amazing price, I would say go for it. But do not expect it to be blowing your socks off. That pretty much covers everything I wanted to say about John Vervado's Artisan Pure. You've been good to me, but there's better. I actually did find a message in this bottle, and it's telling me to let you guys know to subscribe for more unbiased fragrance reviews and hit the like video. Apparently it helps with the algorithm. I'll see you in the next one. Stay fresh.